Hey guys, it's Major Foley here, and we're doing the second level of Age of Mythology Gold Edition. So, um, yeah, we shouldn't take too long, we're only up to the second level. As you can see, I've been busy on stream, I've unlocked all the levels of Fall of the Trident, but I haven't done New Atlantis. I'm actually probably going to be doing that today at around 8pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time on stream, so if you want to watch me do that, Come check out my stream then. I should be live by then. If I'm not live, just click a follow, and I'll definitely be live sometime later tonight to do it. So if you want to watch me do it live, be my guest. For now we're going back to Fall of the Trident, and we're up to Consequences. So the strategy here doesn't change much as it does in the Extended Edition either. We mainly just train Cyclops, destroy the base, and then kill Kamos. It'll take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on how well we do. Like, we get occasionally attacked, but apart from that, nothing else really. Perhaps setting out on this errand really was all that was needed to appease Poseidon. Black sails! Port side! And he leads us to Kamos, too. Archers, ready your bows! Prepare to come about! They're going to pay for insulting Poseidon and Atlantis. Alright, so quickly, stop your ships from going any further down, bring them up here. Bring your Toxate down to the beachhead. With your villagers, build a temple. Cast law. Send our cantos up here. When you hear the Plague of Serpent's power get caught, focus fire them down. Let your Toxitates just attack whoever, just keep your ships, ships attacking the same one though. Hopefully we'll finish this level before Kamos' ships invade us, but this is just to make sure. Tech up immediately when you get the chance, go with Ares. And then build a dock. Send, a send your arm um, scout to explore the beachhead up here. Alright, once all the sea snakes are dead, that's good for us. We're gonna want to get at least some wood because we're not gonna have enough for what we need. Alright, so we want to scout the coast here because there's a couple more fishing spots, so we found it here. And we want to take advantage of that. Get a few fishing ships, get a house, two. And get hand axe, just so it's a little quicker. Cancel should be nearly done with the watchtower, nowhere near close. There will be some occasional attacks, so we'll have our toxic taste though up here. Sometimes they can come from the bottom. The attacks aren't difficult, they might disrupt some, you know, time, but apart from that, you can they will never be able to take out a town center, let's put it that way. You're also going to want the heroes, so get Jason and Hippolyta. Okay. Don't send Jason up here because the tower will, like, you know, peck his health and we can't, he doesn't regenerate like our Kantos. We are going to want some um, on the deer, so keep training villagers until you get them. About, I'd say, maybe 20-25 for this map. You don't really need that many. Everyone else will tell you, you should just keep training villages if you play online, but we're not playing online, we're playing the campaign. We only do what's needed. Alright. We missed the ship, um, the scout getting the ship, so... There we go. You have to look at it for it to get the ship wreck. So let's build a dock there. And we'll get that last fish... Last fishing spot, yep. Get the fishing ship upgrade. And we want to get Will of Kronos as soon as we can. Bring him down here so the spearmen can attack him. Just have your waypoint set on the temple so they're um, generating favor. Oh, a couple more fishing ships. You know. Alright, the temple's, uh, tower's gone. We are gonna still need houses, it's why I've got like one villager on wood. I might make that two, just so it's a little quicker. It's gonna be twice as fast. <laughs> Alright, get the Will of Kronos. We're going to probably build another temple up here, because we want to attack from the north, it's easier. Hopefully I can get this in one shot, otherwise it's going to be a bit delayed. We do need more wood for Hippolyta too though, so we got to be aware of that. 
Once this food's done, we're just gonna be putting these guys on the temples. Yeah, the boats should be more than enough to get our um, fishy spots. Um, just remember, unlike the extended edition, it's not built in unless you've got a mod for village detection. You have to hover over it to tell you what it's got, and it usually includes fishing ships as well. So, if you want to save some pop, you can get rid of the transport ship. It's not necessary. Get our first Cyclops. Really, it's just... Waiting until we get the necessary resources. Of course, we'll always be attacked too, so that's a thing we can deal with. Our Cantos can tank and he can regenerate, so I mean... The Toxitate aren't as important, although they'd be nice to have if you have um, Kamos around. And of course, the Cyclops' ability lets you just throw a human soldier away, so it's pretty much an instant kill. Get the house. Did lose one archer. It's not too bad. Uh, Jason did take a little bit of damage. We're going to want about six to seven Cyclops when we attack. To be on the safe side. Let's see if I can bait some of the units over and clean them up a bit. Alright, we'll train Hippolyta. Because it's mostly full of towers here. So killing the units now before engaging the towers would be huge. Oh, we're under attack from the south. There you go. But this should be fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and also from the north, too. And then if that happens, you just garrison them in your town center. Easy done. And the town center will take care of them along with whatever units you got. Although I might have to retrain Hippolyta, which would suck. Yeah, she's too low health. I'm definitely going to retrain her. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to do that. Get you guys on wood, because I want to get her back fast. Surprised they coordinated that attack very well this time. I don't normally do that on the extended edition. Could we get Bowsaw? I think we should. I mean, I'm not using the gold for anything else. Regenerate in favor. 14. It sucks when you're not playing Zeus, because Zeus generates it so much faster. If I recall correctly, anyway. It's been a while since I played just normal, ga uh, normal games of it. Okay. Population. And there's some of the ships. Alright. We might need to train some triremes. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I don't think in this version they the docks attack in um, the normal campaign. Attack again. No, I don't feel as bad as losing fishing ships because they're cheaper to replace than fry rings. Why are you attacking the tower? Come on now. Alright. Now. Back to it. Finish building that house. Alright, so I've got four Cyclops, five Cyclops. Jesus, they're coming in force today. Alright. I didn't get all the units. 
Pro-Sechet. So that's another thing I want, I want to solve. Let's get the uh, other Anubites out. What did they chase? Last one. And then we go in for Cyclops to take care of the t uh, towers. And the reason why I'm going to want the heroes is because they'll get a lot of Anubites. Alright, so hit the town center. No, guys, not the houses, the town centers, please. And then when you get close, activate Pestilence. So it stops them from training. If you see Anubites attacking your Cyclops, attack them back. They, they don't have as much health, but they're fast attackers and they do a lot of damage to the Cyclops. So you want them dead quickly. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do another attack, but... We'll definitely get the town center done at least, which is good. Pull back a bit. Arcantos is getting back up. It's because the Anubites that spawn become a little more of a difficult. Oh, we might get lucky here, actually. Ah, oh, bloody Anubites, man, they're coming back. The revenge of the Anubites. There we go. Please don't do that. I keep clicking the hero power. We're on our Kansas body. Just go for Kamos. We should have enough damage. Of course, Kamos has that ability. One slinger against a bunch of villagers is not going to make much of a difference. Just a few hits, and because you don't have to kill him, you just have to hurt him. There you go. Less than 13 minutes, not too bad. It's just when the Anubites spawn from the town center that becomes a pain. I should have gotten rid of the barracks, but it's all good. Another time, Arcantos. <laughs> Your luck will end. I will be there to see it. Your head will hang from my mast, Atlantean! <laughs> At least one of Poseidon's children still favors our enemies. Load the trident aboard the transport. We'll send it back to Atlantis immediately. Or Poseidon himself, Arcantos. Anyway, that's it for the Gold Edition. The Extended Edition will be coming up very shortly. Should play out the same, except I might destroy the barracks in that one. That's up to you to destroy the barracks or do what I did and just hope that you get enough damage to finish Kamos after that. But it shouldn't take you up any more than 15 minutes, really. But um, thanks for watching this, guys. Um, remember, if you liked... Comment, subscribe, like the video, helps a lot. And um, I'll see you soon.